Hello and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. In this video we're going to be talking about Master Mode Legacy of the Ricotta. I'll be showing you some of the skips you can do to avoid fighting some of the ads, as well as giving you tips on the different bosses so that you know how to complete this flashpoint. So right off the bat here we're doing a small skip to just get past these couple of cats without fighting them. So we went around to the left there and then we're going to the little puddle and then to avoid that one. This area here, if you do have a stealth, I'm pretty sure you can get by by sleeping this one ad without having to fight this group. A little further up the road here, you're going to be able to get past uh, these groups of enemies. There are two ways you can do this. You can go left initially. I prefer kind of going this route that I'm showing you on screen here, and you just stay to the right here. Now, this group of enemies up here with the cat, if you sleep it with a stealther, you can get past. Don't try and sleep on the left side unless you have more than one stealther. Now, in the open lake area here, you can avoid this first cat by jumping up on the sides here, but this next cat on the right side, you need a stealther to get by. Here's a big level skip that comes after these cats. Just stick to the right along the edge here, walk up this grassy area, and you're going to be able to skip not only this first group of enemies, but if we keep going and we drop down, you'll be able to skip the second group of enemies as well here. Okay, on to the first boss. This is the Rancor with the War Chieftain inside of here, or Savage War Beast. Make sure you actually come fully inside the door, or you will get stuck on this one. So the one player who is there, you're going to notice in a little bit that he's still stuck inside of the door because he didn't move in quite far enough. The main mechanics to watch out for on this boss is as a tank, you can only tank this guy. When he raises his arms up in the air like this and slams him down, he's going to knock everybody away from him. There's another mechanic you have to watch out for on the War Chieftain as a healer. If you look at my debuffs, I just got a debuff from the fire being placed under my feet. The healer has to cleanse that or I can't move. Now the Rancor knocked me out using that red telegraph so I didn't take damage from it, but normally players would get stuck inside the fire. So yeah, he does punch you around quite a bit. Try not to point that red telegraph at other players. Once the War Chief is dead, everybody will finish killing off the Rancor. Now, once you kill him, there's a level skip you can head up to the right and climb all the rocks. I don't like doing it, so I usually just kill these enemies instead of doing the level skip. We get to the next part here where they need to find the four Ricotta weapon caches. There is a way to avoid some groups here that take quite a bit of extra time. I don't really like doing it, it's a bit of a weird path. But basically in this area you just need to go and find the four weapon caches that are shown on your map and click them all. Make sure that you do wait for your group to come with you if you are going to be fighting these. You don't really want to try and fight one of these groups on your own. So I won't go over too many details here as most of these you do have to kill all the groups anyways uh, to be able to claim them as they're just too heavily guarded for stealthers. The one thing that I do want to point out though is after you finish the third one, you go upstairs to the fourth one, just watch out for that gold ad on the right side there. Try not to pull him into the group while you're fighting, or you can go stealth sap him before you start the fight to make sure he doesn't interrupt this part here. Okay, bonus boss time. This one, the main thing here to cheese this is stay in the room and hide behind this little broken crate when he does his AoE channel to tack around the room. So you're fighting the boss, he has a grapple in, he has a couple of knockbacks, get knocked out of the room there you will have an ad come after you and then when you see the boss start doing this channel right here everybody should get behind this broken crate you'll notice my damage I was taking damage from that attack and then I stopped taking damage once I line of sight it we're just going to repeat this fight by continuing to kill the boss out in the open and waiting for this channel here and run behind and stay out of that damage until he's done the channel pretty simple you beat the bonus boss on this Okay, this is the second boss right after the bonus boss. I really do advise trying to have this pillar to be able to keep your back to and be able to line of sight all of the ads to kill them a little bit more effectively. Once you finish killing the ads, the player who has threat from the boss will immediately be knocked and stunned by the boss. He'll do this red telegraph here that you have very little time to get out of. As a tank, you want to be keeping your back to this pillar here so that when he does his little stun and knockback, you're not going to be getting thrown around. The ads will come out, you'll just line of sight them again. This is going to just repeat itself for the rest of the fight. The boss will be up. These red circles don't do too much damage, so don't worry too much. Just kill the ads, and then once the last ad is dead, as a tank, get in position to get punted into the pillar, and then immediately try and jump out of that red telegraph. After the boss, there is another level skip here. You have to be very, very careful to take that corner properly, or you will pull that group. You can always stealth the one ad. Okay, on to the final boss. As a tank, you are going to be tanking Darth Arcus. You cannot taunt Colonel Derek, and he has a threat drop. Make sure with Darth Arcus you point him away from the group so that he's not using that uh, Force Thundering Blast to hit other players. 
Colonel Derek does have this mechanic with the blue circle. It's important to note that two players will end up getting it. You do not want to have yourself standing inside of someone else's blue circle. But as you can see here, they can safely overlap as long as the players aren't standing together. Be careful if you do move away from the boss or if you're a melee on the boss as he does have a grapple and he can pull the player in. So if you already have a blue circle as a melee player, make sure you don't stand right on top of the boss while fighting him. Once we kill Conor Derek, there is no enrage on Darth Arcus, so you don't have to worry about killing one before the other. Just spank and tank at this point. Do watch out, Jakaro tends to keep that threat, even though technically it's on me, and that can change the direction of that thundering blast. So, kill the boss, claim your rewards, and hopefully you enjoyed playing this Flashpoint, which has a beautiful tile set, and I do quite enjoy playing. As always, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.